Using student completion rules in Schoology is a great way to guide and monitor students' progress through your course activities. Student completion rules are only available if you're using folders, so make sure you are organizing your content in some sort of folder structure. Student completion rules can be assigned within a folder and to a folder hierarchy. Let me start with the within a folder example. Here is a series of activities I want my students to complete, and the order I have put these activities in is important. So I want students to progress through them sequentially instead of skipping around. The day prior, we spent some time on dependent and independent clauses, and I want to start the day with a quiz that will help me identify which students need some review while letting those who understand it move on. Once I'm in the folder I want to assign completion rules to, I'll use the Options button and select Student Completion. This will bring up the window I use to apply my requirements. If the order your students move through these requirements is important, put a check mark in the Requirements Must Be Completed in Sequential Order box. Order is important for my lessons, so I will definitely check that. Now I just need to add my requirements. Use the Add Requirement button. Use the drop down menu to select the item in the folder that you want the first requirement to apply to. The items in your folder will be listed in this drop down menu in the order they appear in your folder. I want to assign a requirement for this first item, so I will select the quiz. Depending on what type of item you choose, you can require certain student actions. For a quiz, my choices are simply viewing the quiz, making a submission, or obtaining a certain score. Since I am using this quiz to identify which students have mastered this concept and who may need additional review, I'll use the score at least choice and enter in the score needed by a student to be able to move on past the quiz. This will essentially stop any student who doesn't meet the minimum score and I can pull them in for a small group review session with me or direct them to online review work. Now I'm going to add my next requirement by again selecting add requirement. The next item in my folder is a page, and the only requirement I can put on that is that students must view it. Next, I'll add a requirement for my discussion. For discussions, my action options are viewing the item and posting a comment or reply. I want students to be required to post in the discussion, so I will choose that option. Now I have two pages with articles on them, and I will require students to view those. Finally, there is an assignment and I will require students to make a submission. Choose the blue Save button to save your changes. Once I've applied completion rules, those rules will follow that folder when I copy it from one course to another. And I can always go back into the student completion settings to remove or adjust my requirements. You do not need to assign student completion rules to every item in your folders. If you have an optional activity, simply do not assign a completion rule to it. Let's look at this from a student's view now. This student can easily identify which folders have completion rules by the Must Complete designation. Once inside the folder, the student can see what requirements I've placed on each item. Students earn a green check mark when the item's requirements have been met. This student has passed the quiz with a 75% or higher and has viewed the page with the videos on it, but she's not yet posted in the discussion. If she tries to skip past the discussion without making a post, Schoology will not let her. Each item is inactive until she meets the requirements of the item preceding it. Once she posts in the discussion, the ability to move to the next activity is enabled. If I return to my teacher account, I have a new student progress button that quickly shows me the progress of the students in my class related to their completion of the tasks in this folder. The green check mark means the student has met all of the requirements I have applied to this folder. In addition to applying completion rules to items in a folder, you can also add requirements for certain folders in your class to be completed before others. If I use the materials link to go back to my course landing page, I can use the options button here to add completion settings to folders. You can add in a completion requirement for each folder as a whole, or use the Make All Folders Sequential option for Schoology to quickly list all folders for you. With folders, your only option is for students to complete or meet all of the completion requirements you have applied within that folder. This is an ideal option for a self-paced class or a set of folders that you want students to work through in a predefined order as opposed to skipping around. Student Completion Rules is one more of Schoology's powerful tools that allows you to monitor and guide your students' paths through your courses.